Hi, I'm Janet Riley and I'm president of the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council. One of the questions we get most often at the council is how are hot dogs made and what really goes into them? And I guess you could say that some of the rumors about their ingredients add to their mystique, but these rumors can also drive us nuts. So we're here today to take you on a tour of a plant and teach you the facts about how hot dogs are really made. Now here I have a plate of beef hot dogs, but pork and poultry dogs follow a very similar manufacturing process. When we make hot dogs, we start with cuts called trimmings. These are pieces cut away from larger cuts, such as steaks or chops, but too small to sell on their own. In this case, frozen and fresh trimmings are finely ground and mixed together at a specific lean to fat ratio set by the company. USDA requires that hot dogs don't contain more than 30% fat. These finely ground trimmings are then put in a huge stainless steel blender where they are mixed together with seasonings such as salt, pepper, garlic, and with other spices, as well as with a curing agent such as sodium nitrite and with ice. So why ice? All that chopping causes friction and friction causes heat. Ice helps keep the mixture cool and allows better blending as the ingredients are all mixed together. USDA requires that hot dogs be less than 10% water. Eventually, the mixture forms a batter much like the cake batter you make at home. Rather than putting the batter into a cake pan, hot dog manufacturers put it into cellulose casings. The long strands are pinched and linked at about five inch intervals on average. Of course, a foot long hot dog is about a foot. You'll notice a black line on these casings, which indicates the casing will be removed because these are inedible cellulose casings. But some hot dogs are made in natural casings. These are cleaned and cleaned again intestines. They give them a characteristic snap while eating. Natural casing wieners account for about 5% of the hot dog market. They are often sold out of the deli case or near the deli. After they are stuffed and linked, it's off to be cooked and smoked. In the smokehouses under controlled temperature and humidity, the hot dog is fully cooked and hardwood smoked for texture, color, and a delicious flavor. After passing through the smoke and cook cycle and being showered in cool water, the hot dog goes into the peeler. Here the protective air and smoke permeable cellulose casing skin is stripped away and individual links are sent to the packaging line. I love this part of the process. Before packaging, the hot dogs are weighed to ensure that they're the appropriate size and examined to make sure they aren't broken. The hot dogs are then fed into vacuum packaging equipment. Here individual packages of exact number and precise weight are wrapped in vacuum sealed in plastic film to protect the freshness and the flavor of the hot dog. These are then shipped to grocery stores, restaurants, ballparks, and anywhere else you would find hot dogs. You'll notice you didn't see any organ meats or byproducts being put into the hot dogs. And that's because those are extremely rare. And if they were used, USDA requires that they be specifically labeled in the ingredient statement on the package. The product would be called hot dogs with variety meats or hot dog with meat byproducts on the front of the package. While variety meats are perfectly safe and wholesome, they're not widely consumed by Americans, so we don't put them in hot dogs very often. You should also know that all of the ingredients used from the meat to the spices and the curing agents will also be found on the ingredient statement on the package. The whole process is overseen by USDA inspectors to ensure the hot dogs are being produced according to strict federal rules. So that's how hot dogs are made. And all of this happens in just the course of a few hours. And some plants can make on the order of half a million hot dogs in a single day. I'm guessing that you found this video a little less exciting than some of the mythology you might have heard about how hot dogs are made, but the end result is delicious nonetheless. For more information on hot dogs, including history, fun facts, consumption data, and more, please visit our website, www.hot-dog.org, or check us out on Facebook.